Today we'll be showing you 10 of the best media streaming apps for Android. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. DLNA is a shortened acronym for something altogether more scary sounding, Digital Living Network Alliance. What it does, however, is anything but scary, allowing you to connect DLNA compatible devices to each other and seamlessly stream data between them, photos, videos, your Android home screen, you name it. It's a pretty old format, but it's still going strong, proven the fact that both Microsoft and Sony tried omitting it from that new Xbox One and PS4, but both ended up adding it back in due to popular demand. Long live DLNA. We've sifted through the good and the bad of DLNA streaming apps and whittled it down to the best. So let's go check it out. VLC is not only an excellent video player, but a great DLNA receiver too letting you easily snoop around the files held on your local media server and play them. From there, you can use VLC's streaming functionality to beam your content straight to Chromecast or other streaming gizmos. The app has made a simple, easy on the eyes interface and has evolved immeasurably since it came out of beta a few years ago. Even though VLC isn't as renowned on Android as it is on PC, it remains a top option. Plex is one of the best media streaming apps around today. Its interfaces are elegant, it downloads all kind of metadata on your media to make it look sleek and professional. It rocks all round. On top of that, Plex can also be activated to work as a DLNA server, so you can wirelessly connect it with all your DLNA certified home devices and give them the front end they deserve, whether it's on your Android tablet or Android TV. Plex comes with the best media streaming features, such as shared playlists between devices, resuming videos on different Plex devices, using your Android device as a Plex TV remote, and many more. We can't recommend it enough. One of the more established in-home streaming apps on our list, Localcast communicates with DLNA, UPnP, and even Samba devices to stream content from your phone throughout your home. If you have a Chromecast, Localcast lets you rotate and zoom pictures on the fly. And it's also integrated with opensubtitles.org, letting you quickly download subtitles for movies and so on as you're watching them. Localcast works with popular devices like the Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, games consoles, and all the big smart TV brands. It tends to have a higher quality video streaming output than even Google's own apps like Google Photo. It has its own web browser so that you can cast and can stream from network storage in your home, making it an excellent and easy to use package. Kodi is a media center app that isn't designed exclusively with DLNA streaming in mind, but you can set it up that way if you wish. Kodi's biggest perk for Android users is that it's heaving with add-ons, from official ones like YouTube and the major sports channels, to repositories that give you access to all channels around the world. Naturally, it's fantastic for streaming locally stored media too. Kodi's specialty is video, and its UI is tailored towards that, but you can also use it to view pictures and listen to the radio. If you're looking to stream music, then there are better options available. Hi-Fi Cast plus DNA is dedicated to music and supports playing most common music file formats like MP3, AAC, FLAC and WAV to Google Home devices as well as other devices that support DLNA streaming. You can set up all kinds of shuffling for your music, whether it's individual tracks, artists or albums. You can play music from either your Android device or other DLNA devices containing the music. If it's just the music you want to stream, then this is your best choice. Media Monkey does a whole lot more than DLNA, allowing you to sync and stream media across multiple devices via Wi-Fi, UPnP, Bluetooth, and of course, DLNA. What makes it stand out is the neat interface and plethora of media management tools to keep your library organized. Playlist management, multiple file editing, and bookmarks, just to name a few. 
you'll need to pay for extra features like unlimited DLNA usage, but coughing up a few bucks for one of the most complete streaming apps is worth it in our eyes. Bubble UPnP lets you broadcast your content right from your device to your compatible DLNA device. It supports Chromecast, any DLNA enabled TV, and the latest generation of gaming consoles. Other than basic streaming, it also comes with features like playback queue, editable playlists, scrobbling, sleep timer, and various shuffle modes. It has a full screen image viewer and remote control function. Best of all, it costs nothing. If you like to have apps with plenty of features, check out Media House. It has a number of DLNA streaming features that help you stream your videos and music the way you want. For example, it also scans your Wi-Fi network to see if there are any DLNA enabled devices, so you can connect to them. It divides the scanned devices into two categories. The first being devices that you can stream your content to, and the second being devices you can stream content from. It supports creating playlists for your music files, has an image viewer, and works in landscape mode. If you want a DLNA app with an awesome interface, give iMediaShare Personal a try. The app lets you stream your digital media right from your Android device to your large TV without needing any cables. While your media is being played on your TV, the app acts as a remote for you to control the media. It allows you to control and play, such as pause, next, and so on, using your hand gestures. While all the apps listed up to this point stream content to any device, Allcast offers the most compatibility. It can stream media to Chromecast, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Xbox 360 and Xbox One, PS4, and other DLNA enabled devices. It also lets you stream from your Dropbox, letting you directly stream content without having to download it first. Why use shoddy old hard drives when you can do so many wonderful things wirelessly? Setting yourself up for a DLNA streaming may sound kind of complicated because it involves an acronym for a long and complicated tech term, but it's really quite easy. All the apps we've shown are great. It's just a matter of finding out which one that works best for you, then following the simple on-screen instructions to move a step closer to having a wireless media center. Did you find this video useful? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.